Food Wednesday to you. As it is. If I have to think about when this gets uploaded. I think it's still technically. Um, Wednesday for everybody. I could be wrong though. I'm like. 85% sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. Anyway, we are not doing a daily challenge today just because. So zany. Instead, we're doing Diverse World, as you see, four minutes this time to try to find out where we are. Um, and just listen to me ramble as I try to find out if this is actually... This isn't Greece. But that sign has just spaced itself out just enough as this guy is on his... I feel this is a rototiller, and he's made it into a <clears throat> tractor of sorts. I thought that was going to be a sign over there. It is not. This is very mountainous. It might be turkey. Um, it's very pretty over here, though. We've got uh, day vans or day buses, I think, or something they're called. And there could be RVs, technically. It's a very nice... It's, it, it's probably a lake. could be an inlet. Here we go. Now we've got some... Bag Goran. This is, this, I, I'm very much feeling this is probably turkey. But, let's see if I can actually maybe get a bit better of an idea. And the, the best way I have for describing turkey in my head when I'm seeing the Turkish language is, it looks German to me. But Goran, let's see if I can't see it. Um, I have actually been watching some Netflix as of late. Uh, mountainous, a little arid. We've got some water. So maybe, I know the mountains are up here. Like, maybe it's over here. But Goran is, is probably a small enough town that I'm actually not going to be able to find it. But the uh, Netflix shows I've been watching, it, they, they've been a bit of a theme of just like, historical reenactment history type stuff where they do talk to uh, historians but there's a lot of dramatic reenactments and me who as a kid would watch nothing but PBS because we never got anything else but PBS for probably uh, maybe 80% of my childhood we had cable for a short time Oh, we're about to get nailed by a bus. And by a bus, I mean truck. For a while, we had some cable. It just wasn't for very long. Uh, the rest of the time, we had rabbit ears with tinfoil in the end. And of the four channels we got, one was public. Uh, PBS. Man, this is beautiful. No, I am sticking. With Turkey, because this the, the, the rocks here, this is too much Mediterranean for it to be up north. I'm sticking with that logic. You cannot make me change it. My brain has made up my mind. Anyway, I am very much of the mindset of when I'm watching like documentary stuff or history stuff that I wanted to be more about the history. I really do not care too much about the historical reenactment stuff. Sure, you can have it, but let's not let it be the primary focus of the actual show. And the, I forget the actual name, but it was a Japanese history one that I watched a couple of weeks ago. That one was okay. But now I've watched, I'm watching, what's it called? The... I think it's like Origin of Empires or something. Anyway, it has to do with the Ottoman Empire and its siege of Constantinople with uh, Sultan Mehmet, Mehmet II, I think. 
and the guy that they're getting to play Mamet reminds me way too much of Jon Snow. Or not Jon Snow, one of the Game of Thrones guys. Uh, I didn't watch enough of the season to actually remember which one it is, but if you've seen the show and then you look at like the cast they have for that show, you're like, oh yeah, I know which one he's talking about. Um, and there's a little too much in the way of dramatic reenactments in that show for me to enjoy it. Because I find that the historians are more the characters of the show, and they've got a couple of them. Because usually in these type of shows, they at least have one or two historians who seem like interesting characters. And that's the stuff I care about way more. All right, enough of this one. Now we go to this one, which is probably Texas, if not Canada. I just need to see me a sign. Um, it's a one way, and we do have 407 Road, but I need to see San Diego 3437. And by San Diego, I mean South Dakota. My brain, Jesus Christ, 34 and 37. Is that a route? Maybe. You know, I'm sure it is, but I, I need to find better information. What way is going to have it? Uh, I'm going to take my chances this way. we got some clicking to do. As I take a sip of my coffee. Um, yeah, nothing else. Much new to report as far as the weekend went. Uh, it was far too rainy. Friday. Actually, Thursday and Friday. And surprisingly, into early a Saturday morning for me to actually be able to do any of the hiking stuff I wanted to do, so I just found myself other things to do. But I'm hoping, yeah, okay, it is South Dakota, 37, 34. They do combine, all right. There is 34, and does it combine with a 37? It seems to, oddly enough. But it, it, let me, okay, we seem to split. Is there an actual time that these two are together? Yeah, it's this chunk of road here. All right. So we were near the 40th, maybe? I, country pumper is a great word. Mainly because one of my friends, his dad, whenever he would talk about having sex at any time, his favorite way of saying it was be pumping and be pumping right away. And just the way he says pumping just makes me laugh. So it is 407. I need to find 407. That's just a weird anecdote I have. I think a lot of it has to do with the way the guy's, the, his voice for saying it, but why can I not find 407? Or the 407 sevens. Look at that, I know references for MASH. What road is this? Why are we not saying what this road is? Am I, am I to expect that this is actually the road? I'm going to look over. I didn't know the road. Is there one down here? Let's see. Oh, we got a turn. It's quite a turn, actually. Huh. So maybe it's actually this one. It's called Corliss Ave, except for that one. So, may eh. We didn't cross a river, though. Oh, this is, this, this, this is going to bug me to no end. Oh, here is a river. Okay, so yeah. We're more over here than... There's 407th, you dummy. Let's hit home. I want to I wanna see if I can't specifically pinpoint this. So we are heading this way. That is a house over here. Well, they gave me the 5,000. I will take that. Very happy with how that one turned out. Look at me. I'm a genius. 
All right, a little bit of a pause there, so I had to go take care of something, but I've just cut it out of the video, so. I guess. More me for me saying that than anything else. Either way, I'm taking a sip of coffee and hitting next round. Uh, so what else did I do this weekend? Um, they recently put out another update for Monster Hunter Rise. Rise. Seems like Rising should be the name of it because it, it feels like it's an action word instead of just saying Rise. As they do in one of those Star Wars um, trailers. I forget which one it is. Guatemala. All right. We've got ourselves a country. And uh, after not playing that for a while, I am back in. They added, I think they added an, uh, a, a monster in between this update, update and the last time I played it, but they, they put in Bezel Goose or Betel Goose. I forget that actually how they say it. I just call it Beetlejuice because you know, it looks like Beetlejuice. I hate that monster. It's a dumb one. Bezel Juice or Beetle Goose. I know I, it, it's probably spelled exactly like the giant ass star, but I can't. I don't have it on like with me to compare it right now. I mean, I could just search for it, but I'm not going to. I am too busy seeing if I can locate where this place is in Guatemala, the Rural University of Guatemala. In La Libertad. Where is La Libertad? I've heard of that before. Is it actually a yep, La Libertad? All right, so I think this is where we are. If we're not here, we are close to it. I'm just going to click here. Um, anyway, they put in three other monsters, two of which I've fought before in other games, and one of them was from way back in the day, apparently. Anyway, um, yeah, after taking a break from it, I'm back in. That game is always going to be fun. As I've said before, you just get a bunch of people together and you just beat the shit out of a monster for a while. We'll try not to die. And uh, do it over and over again. Uh, you can play it solo, but I just can't. I find that game is way more fun to uh, play in a group. So these are all American products. Can I actually... I mean, the, the, the image is crappy, so I'm not going to actually probably be able to see it very well up close, but maybe I can. Ooh, we got Rock Band. I actually am very familiar with this drum kit. Um, anecdote, when we first got, when Rock Band first came out, this is probably, oh Christ, around 2006, 2007, maybe 2008. No. I think it's around 2005. It was pretty expensive. But uh, we get a bunch of friends over at our apartment. And I always wanted to play the drums. I'd never actually played drums before in my life. And I always thought, of, like, how hard could it be? And then when you first realize, oh, I have to independently move my limbs all at the same time. It's, it's kind of a weird brain fuck. But after a while, I was eventually able to do it. And I would basically be the one playing the drums out of all the friends. Other people would play guitar or the bass or they would sing. But every now and then when somebody wanted to take over the drums, uh, they weren't coordinated enough. So their workaround was to have one person be the drummer using the drumsticks and one other person was just on their hands and knees with their hand on the uh, bass pedal just hitting it every time it came on. It was a funny sight to see. Whoa. Had no idea the time went by that fast. Look at us go. All right, another pause. Any train of thought is, is, is now completely gone, but we continue on. This is probably France. It's not France, Belgium, something like that. Um, nope, can't make anything out just yet. Here we go, this is France. Uh, I think it's Mother's Day this weekend. 
have to go C, St. Grand. We got D23 and G5. I think the roads here are always the thing that are a bit of a pain in the ass to actually uh, pin down. I mean, I'm finding every number again except uh, the one D1 I'm looking for. Let's see. Uh, have the plans already set to make a thing. Oh, Mother's Day. Sorry, I got to go on. Oh, and stretch. Uh, another thing out of the cookbook, so going to be something I've never seen before, but I have a feeling here's D5 and D23. Now, unfortunately, it looks to be not one of these. Maybe it's a, too small of a D road for it to be this one. Let's see. St. Nabor, St. Grand, Fres, St. Moms, and Sibbe. I'm just going to click here because I, I, I feel it's in here. Um, Estrells. We do have, it looks to be a bit of a mountain, the mountainous region of France along there and here as well so I could possibly change where we are which I think I might do and just put us here even though that's no it's it's France that's Switzerland over there ah get a sip um I still have two weeks until I can actually get the second shot, then even more sign of things getting back to quote unquote normal. Golf soon. Uh, it's just a lot of things very soon happening, just just not like right now. You know, for it to be mountainous, this very much is not mountainous. <laughs> it, it it's quite flat. So now I'm concerned. That this is actually not in this corner of the map. Because I don't think I'm seeing anything to make me think that it's there now. Um, do I want to change it? I do. I'm going to click up here. Give me a bit more of a chance to maybe... Gee, G-Y. It, it seems like that's too small of a town for me to actually be able to... Locate okay, where it is. Let's just go take a look at the French countryside. I've kind of, well, apparently I'm over here. Isn't that supposed to say Arret? Blow my mind. They're speaking English in this French country. What has happened? All right, am I, am I actually close? Let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. There's Guy. Or Ga yeah, no, it's Guy. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy. <sighs> Moving on. I wonder if there's a checklist of random locations, at least in the GeoGuessr ones, where at least one has to be in Northern Europe. It seems to be a, a, a trend, at least. That whenever I'm not doing like a daily challenge or like a specific themed one, this region of the world seems to get a lot of representation. Granted, I know it's because it's percentage based off of where most of the uh, imagery is taking place, even though this one itself isn't like a um, diverse world, so it's going to be focused on more random places. It just seems to be there's a bit of a trend. Let's see. Um, 88. Is it one of these? No, there. it needs to be yellow. I think, it, yeah, I, I had a feeling it was probably in Finland. Now we need to find 88. Let's see. Um, 88, here we are. Islami. Salami. 
in Pythan Pythagoras. I do not see Pythagoras' theorem anywhere. Uh, it's a long way to that, so it's gotta be Pythan 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 Thumpa. All right, let's let's start just going down the road here and see if I can't find P Y H. There it is, Pythantha. So we're th like th right here. Sorry, that was a dumb joke. Uh, this will actually help me a bit more to find out where we are. We've got Papillon, Oulu, and Rahi. Pipo, Pipopola, Pipopo. I just like saying it. I know it's wrong. Pipipipopa. I'm dumb. <laughs> Sorry. I need a step. Oh, man. Give me a stretch. Oh, yeah, that felt good. Um, yeah, real quick. For the last minute, 20. Stretch is done. The, uh... There's a thing, at least in local towns around in, in the state that I live in, they, they all seem to have, like, little snack bars. And I know at least with, uh, places in my state, Big things are creamies, C R E E M E, just a, a a soft serve ice cream, and I think they technically did it last year, but uh, I didn't bother because of the whole you know pandemic thing. But uh, our small town one just opened over the weekend, and I have had kind of a hankering for one of these creamies in a while because you know. As a little kid, you play some Little League Baseball. Regardless if you won or lost, you still went and got a creamy with the team. Uh, I would either get blackberry or maple. And then the big cool thing to get was like a hard shell dip, which just meant you would take your ice cream cone, dip the ice cream into this vat of it's just liquid candy, basically, and as soon as it touched ice cream, it would harden into a shell. It was pretty good. Um, or you get sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles. Oh, we were closer to the water. I didn't think we were. But I think I'll get one of those real soon. Creamies. Pretty good. I'm going to chug this coffee and be at the end here. Let me click summary to see what my final score was. Did pretty well. Uh, that felt good. Wednesday's done. You have my blessing. What a glorious day. Or it will be. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, and suggestions for maps, ideas, or anything else at all, you go ahead and leave, leave them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Go enjoy your day. I'm going to try to as well. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.